The box just says RS3M and there have been three versions of this cube, but this gives it away. Oh yes, almost no packaging. <laughs> of course, of course, this cube is so incredibly fast, it feels like there's no friction. It's so weird using a cube that should feel so familiar, but also is just so much faster and far less friction. Also, this is a lot louder, which is a little bit annoying. This cube is the successor to the RS3M 2020. Now, despite the different names, the pieces look identical, so as far as I can tell, they are the same cube, except it uses a maglev core instead of the usual springs. So just understand that, like always, cube names are stupid, and these two cubes are the same besides, of course, the maglev core. Oh, and what is maglev? Well, instead of springs holding the cube together, there are repelling magnets. One magnet levitates on the other, hence magnetic levitation, and with this, there is no friction in the core, which allows the cube to be much faster. Having this cube turn super fast, I think is great, but one thing I'm a bit worried about is that it has always felt a little bit blocky, even on the previous version. And when a cube is on the slower side, I feel like I can tolerate more things about it because it's easier to control. But then when a cube is this fast, I wonder if the blocky feel will ever cause any problems. Let's see what else we have in the box. Ooh, a cube stand. No, and this box. Interesting, they still have springs in this diagram even though the cube has no springs anymore. Ah, we're being lied to. I love that there are magnets in the core now because the screwdriver just sticks to it. What if that just unscrewed the screw? Ah, oh, that would be so much more convenient than this. There is the screw with the magnet underneath it, and there's a magnet inside as well that is trying to repel it, and that is the only reason it keeps popping out. Let's take a look inside. Pretty much identical to what we saw in the Worm 2021, where when you pull down, there are the two magnets that repel each other, and this adds resistance in the same way that a spring does. If you want to see the full explanation, I talked more about it in my Worm 2021 review, but basically, even if you didn't know what was going on inside this core, my customization system video covers all of it. Even though it covers springs, this does exactly the same thing. But like with the Worm 2021, I do want to test something, so I'll use this tool and get them all all to the highest possible setting. As you can see from the blue teeth here, if I went one more step, it would go over the edge and down to the lowest setting. And right now the blue is popping out a lot. Then I'll just go onto every single side and get them all to the highest setting. All right, let's test it out. Ah, oh, man. Oh, so much effort. This is such a slow cube. This went from like the fastest cube to the slowest cube. I mean, if you didn't like how fast the cube was, this does technically slow it down, but I would never want to slow it down this way. I would just put in a lot of slower lubes until it felt slower because this, this just feels incredibly restrictive. Oh my, oh geez. So there are settings you can play with, but I don't recommend the highest one go with either the lowest or play around with the lower settings. The higher settings are really not that useful. Besides that, there's nothing really to adjust here. There are no adjustable magnets, which is one disadvantage of this compared to the Worm 2021. And inside the core, there is also the screw, but the way it comes out of the box is usually pretty okay. So it's a fast cube and I like fast cubes now. So let's get to testing. All right, I did some solves and I want you to see this. <laughs> oh, but it's okay. A few solves later, I got the same OLL and it went very smoothly. That about sums up my experience with this cube. It is very fast and I find it difficult to control, maybe because these pieces I liked when they were a little slower, but when they're faster, I am more sensitive to certain things about it and I no longer like it quite as much. My opinion may change over time as I generally had really good solves with this. It's just that every once in a while there would be a big disaster. I even slowed it down a bit by changing the inner blue setting up by two clicks. So if the lowest is zero, I am now on setting two. I think when this cube is this fast, it's not quite as good as the Worm 2021 maglev, which is also just as fast, but the Worm feels a lot smoother and generally makes it easier for me to control it. Now, is this better than the $9 RS3M 2020? 
I think maybe not if you're closer to a beginner or mid-level, but at very high level when you need very fast cubes to execute the hard finger tricks consistently, then I think this starts to look like an option. But then at that point, when you're looking at fast cubes, I think the Worm 2021 is a better version of this. This cube at only $14 is the best cube in its price range along with the RS3M 2020. It just depends on whether you want a faster cube, which is this one, or a slower one, which is the 2020. I am really enjoying both of these maglev cubes from Moyu, and I'm excited for the new one from Gan as well. Let me know in the comments if you've tried any maglev cubes and if you think they're really good or not. Thank you to Speedcube Shop for sending this cube to me, and remember, if you want to buy it, use the discount code JPERM, it will be even less than $14. Oh wait, the giveaway winners! Two weeks ago, I uploaded a video with the giveaway, and now I'm selecting 10 random winners from the comments. Thank you to everyone for entering, and if you are one of the winners, go into the description and see how to claim your prize. I am flying over to Speedcube Shop soon to sign some JPERM mats for the winners, as well as do some other stuff. You'll hear more about it soon. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.